So by observing this front end top view, we have to draw the auxiliary view looking in this direction. We set a right angle to the surface. So this is the direction of observation for this. Now looking in the direction, we have to draw this auxiliary top view looking in the direction. So as this is a sloping surface which will appear within this region. So first we will try to draw the surface. Label the corner of this So these are the 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now draw a new reference axis that is x1, y1 parallel to this one. These two are the parallel. Let this as x1, this is a y1. Now 1 and 2, if we project this 1 and 2 will be the here. This is a point 1 and 2. Projection of these two points 1, 2 will be the here. So through this point, draw the projection line which will be at a right angle to the x1 y1 now try to locate this point 1 and 2 so for measure the distance of this point from the xy axis this is a xy so measure the distance from xy now we have to locate the point 1 point 1 is here so set an arc So the point 1 is here. Now to locate the point 2, measure the distance of this point from xy line, measure the distance from xy. So the point 2 will be the here. So the mark the point 2. As the point 2 and 3 are at the same distance from xy, so we can easily locate it here. So to locate the point 3, point 3 is here, if we project it in front view, this point 3 will be the here and through this point 3, draw this line, so the point 3 will be the here. Now to locate the point 4, as the point 1 and 4 are at the same distance from xy, one point is a mark here, so to locate the point 4, So this is a point 4, means in auxiliary top view point 1, 3 and 4 are located. Now let label this point as a 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now to locate the point 5 and 6, now consider the point 5, point 5 will be the again here as the 3 will be there. So measure the distance of the point 5 from xy so the point 5 will be the here now to look at the point 6 point 6 if we projected in front view it will be the here so through this point draw the projection line So the point 6 is here, so measure the distance, as the point 5 and 6 are at the same distance, so point 6 will be the here. Now to locate the point 7, take this distance in compass, so for this draw the projection line.
So measure the distance in compass. So the 7 is here. This is a line which is passing through the point 7. So the point 7 is a mark here. Now to look at the 8 as the 7 and 8 are at the same distance from the xy. So point 8 will be the here. Now join these points. Thus this surface is shown in auxiliary top view. Now consider this surface. Consider this as a point 9. 10, 11 and 12 all these four points if we projected in upward directions will be the here so through this point draw projection line so 9 10 11 and 12 all these points will be the here if you observe the 9 1 and 4 are at the same distance 1 and 4 is already marked here so simply if we extend this thus we will get the point 9 now point 12 2 and 3 2 and 3 already marked here if we project it here so that will get the point 12 now to locate the point 10 and 11 measure this distance from x y this point is here mark the point here so this is the point 11 now next 10 10 will be the here so the point number is here so now consider this as a 13 and a 14 13 and 14 will be the here so draw this projection line Now 11 and 14 are at the same distance from x, y. 11 is already marked. So simply extend it here. 10 and 13 are at the same distance from the x, y. So mark this point, sorry. So this is a 13 and this is a 14. Now this surface is completed. Now we have to show this portion looking in the direction. Let here will be the 3, 4, 8, 5 and 3. All these four points will be here. That is a 3, 4, 5 and 8. These points, same points will be available here. So take the projections from this point. Now 3 will be the here. 3 is already here. So just simply extend this point here. Thus we will get the point 3. Point 5 is here. So this is a point 5. Then point 8. Point 8, 8 is here and point 8 
again will be available here then point 0.4 point 0.4 is here it's a position line passing through the point 0.4 it will be available here so when we are looking in this direction uh, this uh, appears as a rectangles one this rectangle forming 3 5 8 4 3 5 3 5 should be joined this 4 8 4 8 will be the join now for 6 7 6 7 is already available here the same points will be the available here so through this point draw the projection line and 7 is here another 7 will be the here and 6 will be the here so this when we are looking the direction uh, this surface will be the appear as like this one still we have to show this hidden portion Now this as the 9, 10, 11 and 12 are available here same points will be the again available here 9, 10, 11 and 12 draw the projection line passing through this 9 point will be the here then if you take the projections the point number 10 will be the here this is a 9 this is a 10 this is a 11 and this is a 12 thus 9 10 11 and 12 9 10 11 and 12 available here now we have to show this that is a 13 and 14 so for this one draw the projection line passing through this so 13 and 14 is here 13 and 14 considering at this position position line is drawn here so the 13 and 14 will be the available here so this is a 13 and this is a 14 when we are looking in these directions as like this one we have to show this by dotted line This is the edge which if you observe that is a point, point 13 point 13 and 13 we have to join by dotted line again for 14 we have to join it by dotted line just this is the shown here This slot is visible. This slot is visible when we are looking in the direction which is shown here. Whereas this slot when we are looking in the direction is a hidden which is shown by such type of the dotted line. This H 9, 10, 11, 12 when we are looking in the direction is also invisible which is shown by dotted line. Thus in this way this auxiliary view is uh, completed.